Okay, so for my episode today, I got a real special treat for you. Uh, it's nothing current. This is actually, we're going into, into my past. I dug out my old Windows 98 Tower computer for that I had back when, well, obviously 98, we're talking, uh, getting into high school-ish. Like, I mean, I had the computer back in 2001 to 2004-ish, ish, and I want to share with you three files that were on that computer. Two of them were PowerPoint presentations. One I did for school. The other I did on my own leisure because I had no life. I probably still don't. And another one, which I found to be absolutely hilarious, was an essay I wrote. And you're going to get to check that out, starting with the PowerPoint presentations. So what you're looking at here is uh, an old Windows 98 tower and a project PowerPoint 97 slideshow that I created for a project back in middle school and I just wanted to share it with you so there is a little bit of sound it's corny as all hell for what an 11 year old would create but here we go As you can see, uh, let me escape there. As you can see, uh, that was pretty old school. Um, th what that actually is is a whole bunch of slides. See, that's why it looked like it was playing so slow. It's because that project itself was, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, it's 213 slides, and every slide there's a, new, a small increment of movement. Now you think if that was good, I'm going to close that, watch as this thing slowly, slowly closes, there you go. Yeah, look at this retroness. Let's check out this one I did at home. I remember doing this just because I was really obsessed with Stick Death and Counter-Strike as a kid. And what we're going to do here is... Uh, this one here is called, as you can see, Stop the Terrorist. <laughs> and here come a bunch of slides about to load up. I'm just going to let it keep loading. Okay, let's go all the way down to the bottom. 322 slides. So we're going to watch this one. I remember I was obsessed with Counter Strike and Stick Death, so this is going to be a little graphic. But I wanted to share this with you as well. That's him jumping for joy. Yeah, you shut it, Bill.
Oh yeah, first person. <laughs> oh, he's got the bomb. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so I hope you all enjoyed that. I just wanted to share <laughs> some old childhood projects of mine. So I hope you enjoyed them. Okay, I just found something again <laughs> really interesting on my old computer. I wrote an essay on marijuana. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I just read it, I'm crying, I was laughing so hard, but I didn't read all of it, just the first part, but I want to go through this with you. Okay, so here's the heading, Marijuana, English 11, my teacher's name, my block, December 6, 2002. Here's our first page, and I'm going to read this out loud for you, okay? So, here we go. Man has made many discoveries and ideas on what men... Oh, wow, my English is so bad back then. Man has made many discoveries and ideas on what man could do with plants. Man has made wine from plants that grow grapes. <laughs> man has made medicine to cure sickness and viruses that infect our body from the leaf or root of plants. Man has also made a smoked inhalant called a cigarette from plants. Even though smoking is quite unhealthy and addictive, man just couldn't get enough from a simple cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> so man made a cigar. It's like smoking two cigarettes at once and it's twice as harmful. Even after all of these body disturbing products, man goes in search for something better and finds a new leaf. A leaf that has changed man's thoughts on what smoking really is. After discovering this leaf, man decides to smoke it and got a really strange vibe going through his body. Man enjoyed this vibe, so he smoked some more. <laughs> After smoking a few of these new leaves, the man <laughs> suddenly starts to feel like he's floating <laughs> or that he's invincible. The reason why he feels this way is because the plant he picked was marijuana, and the marijuana had shut down parts of his brain, mainly the man's ability to think and react. Even though people know what this drug can do to the body, they continually smoke this mean weed. <laughs> Since men enjoyed becoming high, men wanted this plant to be shared throughout the world. But law came through and banned this harmful drug for good. And if caught, the perpetrator would be severely punished. Although some people know what this drug can do to their body, they want it to become legal. But I say that marijuana should never become legal to the world. Oh, God, that was the first paragraph. Here we go, it gets better. Marijuana has been with us for many years and possibly many more years to come, and it has. So why do adults and mainly teens smoke it? Most people smoke marijuana because their friends or brothers and sisters use marijuana and pressure them to try it. Some people use it because they see other people in the family using it. Others may think it's cool to use marijuana because they hear songs about it, watch it on TV, and see it in movies. Some teens may feel they need marijuana to help them ex escape from problems at home, at school, or with friends. Without having marijuana around, people and friends wouldn't have to feel pressure to try a drug that harms you or suppo supposedly makes you look cool. Even, even with having to live with a family who smokes this drug that affects your body, I believe that it, I believe that is a family not really wor worth living with. Man, so cold-hearted. So with friends and possibly, possibly family there to pressure you to take this drug, are you willing to take the drug to impress them? Or are you willing to decline and press the main person in your life? Yourself. <laughs> oh my god. Smoking marijuana really affects the body in many ways. 
that the drug even has short and long-term effects. The short-term effects of smoking marijuana are problems with memory and learning, distorted perception, sights, sounds, time, touch, trouble with thinking, problem solving, loss of coordination, and increased heart rate anxiety. The long-term effects of marijuana is that smoking marijuana can cause cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Having problems with the lungs and airway from breathing in marijuana damages the immune system, meaning marijuana kills cells and tissues in the body that prevent disease. Oh my god. Even with all of these side effects of smoking this particular plant, do you still want this drug out loose, disturbing other people's minds and bodies? Having this drug legal could lead to many problems even besides a person's health. Marijuana changes appearances to the body, such as the face. Marijuana changes your eyesight and appearance of the eye. It causes scent, the scent loss for the nose, the way your breath smells, your teeth and gum appearance, and your hearing. What the hell, dude? With, uh, with keeping marijuana illegal, the secondhand smoke of the drug wouldn't be in the air the har and harming others who dislike the drug. A person staying near another person smoking... The drug is most likely to inhale the drug by secondhand smoke and be transformed by the drug's power. <laughs> if a parent wants to, oh sorry, if a parent wants to smoke the drug, having their children and around to inhale it, the child could be infected and leaving its body helplessly to the drug. Not having marijuana around to harm people and others is most likely the best decision ever heard on the face of the planet. <laughs> So if you're one of the victims of this wretched weed, quit smoking it. And if you're not smoking it and it's one of the people just being infected by it from the person beside you smoking it, back off. It just might be the best decision you ever made in your life. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, conclusion paragraph. Here we go. Although people want this drug out to the world and away from law's grasp, keeping this drug kept away from the people and the people who want it so badly is the best way to go. Not having to inhale the fumes, changing your appearance, and killing your body and others in many ways almost thought impossible. I believe this is the... That, this is the way this drug should be kept, locked up tight, and having the key destroyed for all eternity. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you can totally tell I wrote this never ever having smoked marijuana in my entire life and was so pro-anti-drug. Oh, even though that's the way things still are, mom and dad. Nah, just, don't worry about it. Oh, wow. <laughs>